Hey everybody, it's me, Cicely Renee, and I have been doing some reflection. Um, my pastor always says this, that uh, a prophet is not known in his own home. Um, and that is Luke 4.24. And when I think about that, you know, when you read the Bible, what's happening is that Jesus went back to his hometown and he couldn't perform any miracles. People were too familiar with him. They didn't take him seriously they were like oh that's mary's boy or you know he grew up here they they really just didn't take him seriously and he couldn't perform any miracles can you imagine jesus running not really running but walking around you know different cities touching people healing people healing the blind making the dead rise and he goes to his hometown and he cannot do any of that. It's really quite sad. And it reminds me of like all the people. I live in the Twin Cities, okay? And a lot of, there's a lot of hometown talent. There's vocalists, there's artists, there's musicians, all that good stuff. And I don't think the support is really there um, from the people that live here in the Twin Cities. And I know a lot of them, if they travel, they get so much love, so much support. Um, people can go out of state and sell out. They come here in Minnesota and try to, you know, um, sell a concert for $5. And still, people ain't trying to come out, which is really sad to me. Um, I just feel like there needs to be more support. And I want to talk about how it relates to... YouTube. I'm looking at all these YouTube videos and, you know, just learning because I do want to become a YouTube social media personality. And I um, I just have a lot to share. I have a lot of inspiration, a lot of things that I've learned, you know, things that I want to give to people to encourage them. Um, and so I would look, and because I'm black, I look at a lot of the black people's stuff. And I know that you know there's probably more you know I don't I'm not even gonna say that but on YouTube the a lot of the black bloggers vloggers all of them who do really amazing videos don't get as nearly as many likes or subscribers as those of the counterpart like the Caucasian people um there was this f get ready with me fall you know video that I've seen I, I was looking at a black person's and then on the side they give you suggested ones because they have the same titles and you get like 20,000 views for the black person and then 800,000 views for the white person and I'm just like where is the support in that why why aren't we supporting our people why aren't we lifting them up um, they we can do so much better as a collective group rather than separate like we're trying and and I think they're doing so great they're very successful but I definitely feel that they can go beyond what they're doing right now and I just want to encourage you guys um, you know to support people locally you know and nationally you don't have to support everybody I know that you know everybody doesn't suit everybody's taste um, but I just feel like in the black community we can support more people a lot better than what we're doing right now um, and just thinking about it like um, Mike Epps was in town and I, I believe he sold out you know everybody go see that everybody go see Marsha and Broche. everybody go see you know so many famous people who are all over the world but when it comes to the hometown talent people gotta promote so hard just to get people to go to those events me, I don't go to too many events because I'm at church all day, every night, and that is fine with me. Um, but, like, I, I'm encouraging you guys to support your hometown talent. Margot Davis. Um, that's my homegirl, my sister from another mother. Um, 
you know, and I just want to encourage her. She just absolutely loves Marsha and Brocious. And she probably doesn't think that I watch her on Facebook. And I do. I, I'm, i like, just so proud of her. Um, her accomplishments, her weight loss, her just drive, you know, and not giving up. I love that about her. And I just want to give her a big shout out. You rock. I love you, girl. You are amazing. And I can't wait to go overseas to see, hear you sing. And I can't wait to see you on billboards and magazines and I'm just so proud of you um so yeah that's just my little shout out Minneapolis Twin Cities hometown talent go support your people and then also support me I am you know starting a business um and I want to do a lot and I just feel like there's not a lot of people who are really supporting me, which is okay, and it's not going to happen overnight. And I have to do a lot of work in marketing myself, so I'm not mad at it. Um, but yeah, go check me out, www.sweetsicilies.com, and just go holler at me. I'm on Facebook. Um, right now, the page is Goldilocks Shops, G-O-L-D-I-L-O-C-S-S-H-O-P-S on Facebook and then um, you know I'm on Twitter if you just go to my Facebook page you can go find me everywhere and I'll post it down below as well um, but yeah that's it I'm just enjoying this beautiful fall weather here in the Twin Cities it is Monday October 27th and it's like 60 degrees outside and usually the Twin Cities is just filled with cold and bitter weather but today is amazing and I decided to go get lunch and sit on a beautiful bench and look at all the leaves yeah I'm enjoying my time what are you guys doing to enjoy your time but well, thank you very much have a wonderful day